Hey, welcome to my review of Monday Night Raw, or you can call it All Star Night or Stone Cold Raw. It was a big show tonight. First stop, starting off with the Miz coming out. Talking about Alex Riley, yeah, he's the All Star around here. That Miz is the All Star. Alex Riley is nothing, really, because he's really never even gotten anywhere. So he just started talking about Alex Riley then. That's what he did there. And Jill started, he called out Stone Cold then. So Stone Cold came out, he talked about him. So he's not going to whip his ass, he's going to whip where Alex Riley's at. Because he's stung his this right now. He told the Miz to shut up. And both of them are going to be on Piper's pit that night. For Roddy Roddy Piper. Until our brother Del Rio came out saying he's his destiny. I said, I ain't no magician, I ain't no fortune teller. But a lot of guys want to bash your skull in. So you took out the big show, you ran him with your car. So you have an opponent tonight, Del Rio. Del Rio winning hits. Uh, Kane, the map is gone. Uh, Del Rio got the cross arm breaker. Kane uh, got the rope with one over the five count, so they had to stop it. And uh, Big Show then charged out here and just started beating the crap out of. He just started beating the crap out of um, Del Rio until um, Ricardo Rodriguez started for not paying attention right there. Del Rio came out, kept beating the cr until um, Ricardo Rodriguez got in the way and he kept punching the crap. Now, Ricardo Rodriguez so many times and beating him like a stuffed rag doll and stuff. And then, um, Kane kept trying to hold him over. Like, show! Show! Stop! You're gonna kill him! Show! Show! You'll never get Del Rio! Why would Kane ever say that? Now we move on. Del Rio ran to the back and Stone Cold made the match this uh, at a capital punishment. Del Rio versus the Big Show because Big Show's hand is kind of taped up. So I guess I get this revenge up there to carry out on Ricardo Rodriguez on the stretcher. Wayne Barrett, Cody Rhodes, and Ted DiBiase, excuse me, Ezekiel Jackson, Daniel Bryan, and Sin Cara. That was a match, a good match. Excuse me, I thought the match was a good match. I don't know why they always need Sin Cara's lightning for the match all the time, but what can I judge? In other words, Sin Cara won the match. Sin Cara uh, won by a, yeah, a cross body, really, on um, Wade Barrett. So they won the match right there. Uh, other matches that happened, uh, other stuff that happened. Horace Wilder was shooting out t-shirts to our truth about a lot of little Jimmy's and these Jimmy's. Uh, I'm gonna be a good all truth and Yeah, Horace Wilder was shot at him and, uh, he got, uh, Horace Wilder and kicked him and stuff and everything. And also, he said, oh, you know, I'll kill you. You see what you son bitch? <laughs> it was funny. Well, we always saw us out pick on this guy. So John Morrison is back. And he's gonna have a match tonight. And he's the whole All-Star video game kind of putting him in the match, really. So Morrison was back tonight. Austin made the main event. Um, also, um, John Cena versus CM Punk. Santino Morello went against Sheamus. It's kind of a quick match, really. Sheamus was about to hit the cold rub, but... Sh I mean... Santino was about to hit the cold rub, but Sheamus died. Then he hit the cold run. Sheamus but didn't get it. Then, um... He did a brawl kick on um, Santino, and he won by a cloverleaf, so I don't really see Shane do a lot of submissions that much. So he won by that. Randy Orton came out saying, I just want to talk to you, Christian, and I should get him, but I know you're not going to come out because you know he would beat the crap out of Christian. And Christian said, oh, okay, let's go by the fans. Should I come out there? Are you tired of fans of this? Tired of everybody pulling? Are you tired of Teddy Long? And... Orton said, it's, good, it's bad that Edge is going to carry you out here. Because he said he's been carrying Christian for the past 17 years. And Christian came out and was going to fight him. Security came out. And the, the Niners general manager said, him and Orton, Orton has a concussion after having the last fight on SmackDown at a um, most qualification match. Orton has a concussion. And if he tried to attack Christian, he would strip him of the title. Since when does the anonymous wall... Jim Magic can take the World Heavyweight title that is on SmackDown and win that big field alone problem. So, Christian thought he got away, but also you got a match tonight right now. We're going to look at Rey Mysterio. Uh, the match was going, but Christian went over the five count on a hole, and Nexus kept trying to attack, and he kept taking, and uh, Mysterio was taking out Nexus, but Mason Ryan grabbed him and slammed him to the steel post, and 
Christian hit the kill switch then. So that was kind of pretty much it after that. Take out Mysterio. Um, Dolph Ziggler and Vicky Guerrero, they said Vicky won and Dolph Ziggler have a title shot, but obviously he's not going to get one because because I uh, like, I had matches for you, had Teddy Gassi, I was a ringmaster, didn't like it, but Teddy Gassi was a legend, she ain't no legend. So I'll give you a title shot, I'll get rid of her, your image consulting, what, and Ziggy, I'll do it, I'll do it. But it's kind of fun, I was messing with it. I made the match earlier today, Kofi versus Dick Ziggler for the United States title, even though we've seen this battle in few way too much on SmackDown. Like the CM Punk vs. Rey Mysterio match of Capital Punishment. Seen it way too much on SmackDown. Our truth came out, I was gonna fight Morrison, but Morrison never came out. The truth said, I'm gonna do the fight team, stop playing with him and stuff. So he went to bed, he said, hey, hey that loser Jimmy Daddy got jumped! And, uh, they, he went to Morrison, he's already hurt, and slammed like a steel grate into his face, then just rolled it right in him. Just right in his face and stuff, so. He kind of pretty much slammed his face. I just want to get a thing on our truth say real quick. But like, take that look, Jimmy! So, that's what Morrison is taking out of beating him in a match. Uh, moving on. Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger went against Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne. Kofi and one got that trouble in paradise on Swagger. And then a uh, shooting star press. So that happened right there. Piper's pit happened. Miz kept talking about him and stuff. And, like, you're nothing, and, and you don't know, Alex Riley become a big star one day. And Alex Riley came out talking about the Miz and stuff. And he's gonna beat him at the, um, Cow the Punch, and he said, I would fight Piper with $5,000 of my own money. And he would put $5,000 of his own money too, so Austin made the match. And Piper was like, What? Why are you, Steve? Why are you? <laughs> so it's gonna be Piper versus the Miz right now. Five thousand dollars on the line. Whoever wins gets five thousand dollars. Richer ten thousand dollars. Really. Austin made the match. They had the match. Alex Ryan and Miz started punching each other in in the match, and Piper got the roll up and won the five thousand dollars. And Riley threw Miz out of the ring there, so I'm not gonna keep this Miz Riley battle up. Even though Miz, he's still poor, but not in that championship status anymore, I must say. Gonna speed this rule up a little. Um, seven women tag team match. Alicia Fox, Maurice, Tamina, Rosa Mendez, my, uh, and the Bella Twins. We have Kelly Kelly, Eve, Black Phoenix, Gail Kim, Caitlin, Natalia, and AJ. It was a way too quick of a match. Oh god, he's leaving the matches get bad, but it was just a telly tag to Rosa Mendez. Didn't really last that long. They just started fighting each other. Kelly Kelly just kind of struggled with Rosa Mendez, and uh, Kelly Kelly won the K2. Then he, since they were in New York, they just started doing like a dance. They got like on Broadway. It was like looking back in the past a little with the dancing. Um, Andy Levine got one talking about was talking to Austin. He said, now you gotta make it bigger than that be. And uh, CM Punk came in, he tried to offer, I tried to offer him a beer, he said, what? He said, like, drink whiskey? Tequila? What do you want? What? What? Because <laughs> everybody knows CM Punk is straight edge. So, no ne he told him, no Nexus is there tonight, he told him. I also found out it was one good night, and saying, the anonymous general manager called, and he said, he'll be back next week. And since Austin was still the, the general manager, so next week is going to be this. Another three hour raw will be there next week. But it's gonna be a power to the people. You make the matches, you make the votes, what will happen next week? Three hours of raw, kinda like viewers choice like last year. Because Austin Cat the ATV and the and the general manager Jack Carter, he said you ring that bell again, you're gonna get a bigger ass whooping. He told uh, Michael Cole. And um it rang again and Cole got up out of there and Austin grabbed the computer and um like Poured the drinks on kept run over with his ATV. And um, he came back, got more beer. Alex Dunn will be stupid for trying to block out Austin. You don't get away with this many hurts. Now he's going to try to block him out by putting his middle finger up and stuff, trying to make the screen go black. But that didn't work because the PG element is stupid and trying to block out Austin. 
But I think it was a good night because Austin kept calling BI and stuff on the well, anonymous general manager. We've been doing this for the year. So let's just get over with this thing. And they keep doing the President Obama thing. I've been watching this for weeks. I'm getting tired now. Then they use Christian and Rhodes and Sheamus and Hornswoggle and the great Kali, which makes no make understanding, even though Christian makes a valid point. See how Pump came out. It's clever, tough! Bring it, John C. A good match, I must say. I truly messed with a kid, man, but Cena got distracted. And Pump hit the GTS. So, he hit the GTS and won the match. And Truth got in there. He don't know why about it, but what's up? So, so you gonna get, you gonna get, got, he said. Uh, give us a review on Monday Night Raw with Austin running the whole thing. I think it was a good Raw. Uh, I'll give it a, uh, 8 out of 10. We'll see how it's on the next three hour Raw next week. I just want to make this little note real quick by in this video. If Zack Ryder was there and all that, if I were in New York happened, and they all I in New York, where was Zack Ryder? I need all these Zack Ryder times. I see the best kids of the week. I see Zack Ryder every week. Every time John Cena's about to come out, I see the signs in the woo woo. But why wasn't he on the show? And he was in Long Island, New York, and where he's from. That didn't make sense. That's what I just kind of think right there. But it was a good one. Catch, check out the next week.